What is up guys, today I will show you how to install the app on your BOID Son Plus or on any D-Link, how to install your own app using USB flash drive or even without it, how to set it up to make it fully English and fully workable. So let's do one by one, so we can start from the settings, open the application manager here and find the storage check the storage applications so let's firstly remove the applications that we don't need apps like this like uh, alipay mini program need to disable uh, a map here okay it cannot be disabled check what we can disable here auto custom cannot okay let's find out like bath weather for instance okay we can disable it disable this app for stop uh, let's search for other apps here What we can remove view ID store. Let's keep calendar cameras. You see it's regular Android. So Not so many apps are here disable self start download uh, Okay, let's find Some uh, surreal sound what is disable no needed for a stop Let's always go at the beginning Oh, this one some alipay chinese service disabled don't need it let's go again himalaya okay cannot disable it unfortunately cannot disable some app voice assistant voice assistant can disable of course uh x call voice recorder wiggle mobile data wiggle images user manual Keyboard, okay, keyboard we will replace later when we install the Gboard here. We can also uh, uninstall my car mini app. Okay, cannot. Okay, let's see what else. I already removed some apps. So basically you can remove all the Chinese apps that you can except the system one. Okay, so now we have, you see, not so many. This uh, cannot uninstall maps disable not possible user manual disable not possible album camera let's keep it utility let's also keep it himalaya as a check not possible kuvu what is this some chinese service uh, okay kuvu also not possible kugo music oh this one is we can disable or stop okay okay I have some Chinese music I don't know what's playing but something is playing let's disable it okay DVR all Kuvu is playing okay Kuvu let's disable Kuvu let's remove all the apps okay so that's what we have here uh, this also can be replaced, but we will replace it later. So as for now, we removed what we can. Then we created the flash drive. So you just need to create silence install uh, folder. Copy the app. I only copy the app that I really need. And then I will show you how to do it. So you need to insert the USB flash drive inside your car. All right. So you will see something like this when you just insert and plug in to your USB drive, don't worry, that's how it should be, so just wait until it will be finished, uh, at least two should be installed, let's see, silent installer here, three, four, four installed, four didn't install, Gbox, uh, GMS, and Troy 1, okay, actually it's fine, that's how it should be, then you need to wait until it will be over, Okay, so I think it's done. Some four fail for app. I don't know why, but in general, I have four apps. Uh, okay, you see here what we have is Aurora Store, Gbox, MicroG, uh, Companion, MicroG. What I wanted to install is like sort of Google services. So let's go one by one. Cannot be used standalone. Open Gen service instead. Okay, settings here. Play Store, Google Play Drive, Google Device, authorization, self check. Let's click on the self-check system. Please check documentation, permission granted. Okay, let's allow everything. Allow, allow, okay, allow. 
need all the permission here to make the Google Apps working. Okay, then we can add our account to some Google Maps and all the other. Okay, this doesn't support. Uh, service framework installed. This one, play service installed, has correct signature system. Okay, this I don't know how to fix. We will check it later. Google account, add Google account, so you can sign in here. Uh, authentication with the device registration, so you can do many things here. Play store services, available location. Okay, this will keep as for now. Gbox, I will just show what this is like sort of Android emulation. Okay, install, fail to check updates. Okay, I don't have internet, need to connect back to the internet. Wait a second, I will uh, reconnect to my Wi Fi here. Okay, Wi Fi connected. Mm, let's wait until it will appear here. Okay, Wi Fi is here. Let's click refresh. Or better restart it, Gbox. Okay, enable, allow Gbox. Better optimization doesn't work. Okay, app, Google Play Store. Okay, let's just close it and restart it again. Let's open Gbox. Okay, current virtual device Samsung. Okay, install. So currently it's installing the services from Huawei company. It will be downloaded and then it should operate normally. So let's wait. And in this Gbox, you can also install any like app and it will recognize your device as a Samsung phone. So basically you can install any Android app that is supported by Android and allow install. So the core service is installing. Done. Okay, plus now it should work. Uh, import so you can import the apps here you can import from the folder uh, okay like Aurora store here can be uh, imported and then you can use it here like quite well and also install the apps here so like import app important device app and just import what you need okay cancel no need this activation okay you need to log in with your Huawei ID and then you can download the apps this I will do a bit later all right guys so basically I am currently installing the apps I copied more to my flash drive so let's insert it inside the car I don't know why my previous method didn't work with this Aurora store, so I cannot grant permission. Uh, I used APK Pure, uh, APK Pure to download three apps here, Google Maps, Google Chrome and Gboard. So currently let's install them. So actually it's waiting installation. Let's wait. Uh, so the first one, Google Maps installed, Google Chrome is not suitable version, I think it's because for Android 8, okay, I will change it. Google Maps installed, so let's try the Google Maps here, okay, it works, I guess, let's give the GPS permission, uh, location service disabled, 12 months, uh, okay, microphone as well. I will not show you where I am now, but actually it's working well. Let's wait until it will be loaded. Uh, okay, don't have internet here. Let's connect the internet. In, okay, we also have Gboard here. Let's open the Gboard, enable settings. Gboard, confirm, done. Okay, now I have this as a default keyboard. So I can select the languages here. And let's try to use it. Let's open the browser here. Uh, downloads. Actually, we have the separate one. Opera is downloading. Let's open our browser here. And let's see whether it works. Yeah, we, now we have the Gboard here. Then we can download any browser. I'm trying to download like Google Maps. Let's try Google Maps. I don't know why this version that I'm downloaded doesn't work. This should work. Okay, let's try this out. Download, APK, normal format. Let's try another maps. Maybe there's something wrong with Google Maps here. 
alternative we have uh, let's try maps actually this keyboard is much better for instance maps me we have here where where is this max me just skip somewhere apps let's click on apps maps me offline navigation map let's try those out for instance uh, which version we need um, let's click on the regular one so it's x a it's not apk version we need apk version here need to install okay let, let's try another app maps for instance this maps download apk here okay download all right install many apps like this only need to find the proper apps that suitable to the device uh, although another option will be to install the app gallery which i will do later on okay download download offline map okay let's open the maps here okay so you see maps are working i will not show my location here but as you see you have the maps and actually it's working so basically you can install any app using this website that is called apk pure you have the built-in browser here you can also install another browser and use it here uh, basically for the app installation you need on this flash drive and you copy apps from your device i already showed you how to do it and that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching put the thumbs up in case you still have some questions leave in the comments below and see you next time